Well, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> so quite an entrance. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> You need to start with a bang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for this first set. We are going to have a second set. Welcome to Lowe's live streaming series. This is the second uh, series we are doing here at Studio Lowe's. And uh, today we have Luca from Brazil, Sao Paulo. I can remember that very easily. And uh, Will from London or somewhere in England that I cannot not pronounce the name? No, it's London. That's really London. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, introduce yourself. Um, well, yeah. Um, I'm Luca. Uh, I am studying here at the Art Academy, Kabeka. And uh, it's, it's a degree called Art Science. It's, uh, we do all kinds of... Uh, really weird experimentation, uh, a lot of synesthesia and smells. Um, and I'm just starting my second year right now. Um, yeah, what about you? Um, yeah, I'm in my second year of a master's mm -hmm. in sonology and doing research into tuning and electronic instruments, which is kind of on show here. Okay, that's good. So that's how you guys met and are, are playing together. Uh, actually, we just we met for this live stream. Like we didn't really know each other before, yeah. um, which is also pretty nice because I think we we didn't know like our practice before, and then like this live stream just put us together, and it's amazing how it turned out. Nice, is it like yeah. an improvisation thing? Yeah, just right. two voltage nerds who happen to yeah. know the person exactly. organizing it. Like, yeah. like two, two people who never saw each other just connected by contra voltage. <laughs> 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 well, that's a good way. <laughs> yeah. So everyone's connecting these days. <laughs> <laughs> the next big thing. And uh, both of you work with uh, analog. How, how, how is... How are the how are the instruments that you guys are, are using? We can start. Yeah. Um, yeah, mine's not like that analog. Uh -huh. It's like half and half. Um, but yeah, I mean the main chunk of it's just the modular, and it's all laced together. You pick up bits over the years, and then you jack them together, and it's just like it's just chaos at the moment. Um, <laughs> And then the other one is just on the table, it's my little Raspberry Pi with my mouse, just feeling like a little creep. Um, yeah, and that's like part of my research is I'm building this synth in Pure Data, which is like an open source programming language. Um, and it's all for the benefit of exploring tuning systems. Okay. Um, yeah. So you talked about your research, yeah. Um, and you, Luca. So you're going to have a research, and you're going to have a residency here in yeah. Lowe's, right? Yeah, correct. So a bit of my um, research is about video circuits. Uh, so, uh, like in this setup, I have uh, just a video synthesizer um, and some video mixers mixing two cameras, one that is like filming the whole setup, like both of us, and another one that's pointed to a TV that creates this uh, feedback loop processed by the video synthesizer and everything, which is also modulated by his modular, mm -hmm. which creates this really uh, audio reactive uh, jam soup. <laughs> um, yeah. It looks more like a spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> it is, pretty much, yeah. Sure. Um, and yes, about the... So I'm starting this residency here at Lowe's um, because I'm exhibiting this uh, installation at uh, int Intake, which is going to be uh, a festival, inter interdisciplinary art festival held here in The Hague. Uh, on the 6th and 7th of November. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna use this space and the equipment here from Lowe's to develop because it, uh, I've never done this. Uh, I only have like an idea of how the installation is gonna be, um, and I'm gonna use the space over here to tweak things out and see how they look and develop to a final installation, which is gonna be exhibited. Um, and this piece is basically um, three TVs uh, scattered around the space with uh, security cameras, old CCTV cameras pointed to them, to the TVs. And the, the research is all about the uh, propagation and broadcasting of image. Um, I believe that since we invented electronic image, uh, our senses, the, like the, the human, the central nervous system expanded in a way that humans couldn't really comprehend at the time. I'm talking about like end of the uh, 50s and 60s when broadcasting uh, TV started. Uh, so for, for instance, like people started to, to reach uh, parts of the universe with TV, uh, not with TV, but like image broadcasting and also like even within our own bodies, so like uh, all these like medical instruments that can like uh, film parts of your body. So in, in the sense, our eyes got much further, right? Mm -hmm. But we didn't really think about like the, the, the consequences of this. So the, the whole research is about like, what is the consequence of capturing and transmitting image like on top of each other? So that's why I'm gonna have like the TVs filming and transmitting to other TV and th consequently to another TV and the goal is to see what's the, the, the end image and the, the, the noise that is captured by the, the cameras. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to interact with the installation. So like uh, you stand in front of the, the camera and you see how your image is broadcasted, basically. Uh -huh. And that will be will be in this intake and yeah. here at Lowe's? No, 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 it's no, going to no. be at Quartaire. It's I will be in Quartaire. Yeah, yeah, it's uh -huh, close uh -huh, uh -huh, Okay. Um, yeah. Cool, cool. Looking forward, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll go there. And uh, um, Will, for you now, uh, how was it for you to improvise with his image? How, how was the interaction? It's how nice. did you work I should have... Um, we, when we played the other day, I think I fed off it better, and I think we, maybe we'll do that now. But like, I wasn't giving enough rhythmic stuff. I think maybe for the the signals I'm sending him to pick mm -hmm. anything up, really. Um, but I'm sure there was stuff in there. But yeah, it's really nice to to like play off the image while it's happening and influence it, and then. Yeah, it's like one another, like Seven another minutes. layer of yeah, another layer of feedback in uh -huh. a way. Feedback each other. That like we are influencing each other um, without speaking any words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice. Like, it's been like a year of getting way more into free improv, and usually that's just with sounds. Uh -huh. But actually, when when there's a visual improvising relationship that's that feels like as if not more rewarding this time yeah true it's been great so you've been improvising for like one year more or less that that's well longer than that but like regularly yeah. regular for one year yeah and, and you luca uh i would say about the same um it started when i found out that like you could buy these old mixers on eBay for not much uh -huh. and then I started hoarding all these equipment and now I like I don't have enough space at home to live <laughs> uh, properly but when you start hooking things up and just like yeah this mixer to this mixer to this processor or synthesizer or whatever is just such a it creates this chaotic uh, oscillation in a way and it's almost like something autonomous sometimes. So yeah, you tweak some things here and there. Um, but sometimes I just feel that the whole system is like 
doing its own thing. Eating itself. <laughs> <laughs> in, in Brazil, did you work with that already? Did you? Uh, no, I was doing mostly digital stuff, um, uh, live coding, but like with a computer. Mm -hmm. And since like n not much of these broadcast keep equipment, like the old ones, because these are mixes from uh, 90s ish. Uh, they they don't they're not really accessible in Brazil. Uh -huh. Uh, also, the the color system is different in Brazil, so everything that I ever have over here doesn't really work in Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, so I only started doing these things when I was here in Europe. Okay, for how long have you been in Europe? About two years. Two years. Yeah. yeah. Always here in the Hague. Or? No, no, I was actually in Glasgow when I started buying all the the equipment. For some reason, eBay UK is like really good. No, no sponsoring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And in Brazil, what did you do? Because you told me that you did... Um, yeah, I was studying electrical engineering yes. back in Brazil. Uh, so, but it, it, did, it was nice to, to get in touch with this uh, interdisciplinary uh, field of electronics and uh, artistic practice. But it felt too too narrow-minded uh, and uh, like uh, archaic in a way of uh, teaching. Um, but it was there at the university that I also met a lot of people who were um, working with artists. And this is how I understood that like, oh yeah, no media exists. Um, so I decided to leave this, uh, the electrical engineering studies to pursue something more specific, which was art science. Yeah. So yeah, I was in Brazil, I just Googled something about new media, bachelors. Uh, art science. <laughs> science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. And here I go. <laughs> yeah, and and now, now, now we're all here. <laughs> yeah. And you, and you in that uh, city that I cannot pronounce the name called London? London. What, what, <laughs> what did you do there? Well, I was in Leeds at uh, uni, uh -huh. um, and I did maths and music, like half and half, uh, which was good. It's quite like, I mean, I hated the maths. It really is like, <laughs> you know, you. the school exercises you get, it's just that for like three more years. I feel you. Uh -huh. um, but I got to do the music as well, and we had like, also, like this one cool maths teacher who taught the maths of music, and then that's mm -hmm. where I started with like tuning and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's why I got a bit of maths in me. Um, and then I've been like composing here, and then switched to Synology because I wasn't, I didn't want to write any more notes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't like notes or the. <laughs> <laughs> Break the system. <laughs> Love it, yeah. No, very cool, very cool. And uh, so to finish this part before we go to the next uh, set of the uh, of improvisation, I would actually would like to ask you guys how do you deal with the the boundaries of your instruments, and uh, if you think about going further than the boundaries, or if you work inside the boundaries during the improvisation. Because that's a big difference between composing and uh, improvising, you know? So, how is it for you guys? Yeah. Well, with the ba it's kind of like the boundaries are... With this, you just patch a new boundary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is nice. Um, yeah, but then even like in a setup like this, you have to set up like a little... A few little play areas. And then each one of those definitely has like some serious boundaries and I might run out of stuff to do. But I, I don't think so because there's always more like nuance to find and stuff. Um, yeah. And then with the other one, the, the microtonal synth, that's like, I've had to put a lot of boundaries on that because otherwise it just makes a horrible shrieking sound. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also what you want sometimes, so it yeah. has the option to, to, to remove the boundary. But yeah, yeah, exactly. How, how to go further from, from that, no? Yeah. It's like doing multiphonics. 
yeah, it does get in that realm. Yeah. Um, I think it's um, sometimes it's it's just always getting. I'm always getting surprised in a way that like when yeah when we rehearse or try when we first met and tried to do this together it, it looked like this and then the other day we we I, I, I turned on the machine and like it's totally different and like unexpected and then you just play with with what you get at that point in time um, so I guess I, I can't really see, yeah, I can't really see a boundary. I, I just feel that like, every, yeah, as you said, like every time a patch is just something completely different. And even, yeah, so even if it's sometimes like you're just patching like, oh, fuck, <laughs> it's, this is too flashy or it doesn't sound uh, appealing at all. But then you just tweak it again and find a new way to go back to, <laughs> to known lands. Um, but yeah. Yeah. It's cool, cool. <laughs> Do you guys want to say anything else before the next set? We'll, we'll say it over there. Cool! <laughs> That's the best answer! <laughs> so, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you Thanks for everyone, and uh, see you in the next um, live streamings from Lowe's. You, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram and know when it happens. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Cheers, thank <laughs> See ya.
Thank you.